welcome back guys, it's time for another Brian's action figure review. Today I've got a Marvel Legends Deluxe figure. It is of course the Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Mojo. Not the, not the big SDCC pack, this of course is the solo one, which was funny, it was actually found at retail before it was even announced. So this guy is kind of pale, uh, he was released of course in the early Legends days in the Toy Biz. I did have it at one point. It's quite small now, but uh, compared to this one, apparently. So I've been looking forward to grabbing this guy. I did think about grabbing the SDCC one, but it was quite expensive. And I do have a long shot now is coming out again in the X-Men retro series. And there is a couple, there's plenty of Dazzler figures out there already. So I wasn't gonna be splashing out over, I think it was over a hundred quid. And you get this little Kasabi Wolverine as well. Without further ado, let's check out the box. So here is the box for Marvel's Mojo. And as you can see in the background, you've got an awesome picture of Mojo here. A picture of the actual figure, a render of course, which are now kind of infamous. 4 Plus, Warning, Choking Hazards, Hasbro. On the top, you've got the X logo. On the side, you've got another picture of Mojo here. And on the back, just what's in the box. So you have two hands, an extra head, and of course the figure, which is 8.95 inches tall. When you include the tail, there is a blurg here as well, if you want to have a read of that. Attention, and all the legalese and all that kind of stuff. And on the other side, you do have another little uh, artist drawing of Mojo. And on the bottom, more legalese. This could be fun, I might build this on camera, let's see. Okay guys, so I said, look, I'll, I'll try and build this while the camera is on because Dan Yun said about this one that it's a lot easier than to build a MODOK. MODOK I had a lot of problems with building it because I'm, I'm not good at these kind of things. So I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not going to edit any of this. I'm just going to film it straight and put it, stick it straight onto the rest. So let's go, before I start building this, let's go through the pieces. So you've got two like wires here. <laughs> you have Inconsequential pieces, these are two sets of extra hands, two heads, that head sculpt is fantastic. His tongue is sticking out in this one, and in this one it's just a straight, straight up creepy smile. And then of course you've got the belly, which is suitably disgusting. You've got the chest, let's start to build him once I do this. Let's see if I can do it on camera. And of course, a lot of these, like, it's just a case of forcing, forcing the issue, like, because they can be quite awkward. So, yeah, I consider that pretty much on now. So, that's his belly and big, long, dirty, disgusting hands. Is that on? It is. I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going like, I'm going to, like, force these on a bit more when, when uh, I'm finished. So, I'm going to go with this head for now. I have to be careful here. Okay, so these are the legs. Now, this is the, the the crab body thing. When I opened this, this was all folded in half of itself. So let's see how easy this is. So there is a clip on the bottom. This is not going to be easy at all. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. As you can see, like all the little spikes and stuff actually go into him. Full discretion, I did eventually originally try and build him on camera, but the, par the parts were just really awkward. It, it needed two hands to force the issue. Um, as you can see now though, this guy is huge. He's absolutely massive, a lot bigger than I was expecting him to be. Like, I know I said the previous Toy Biz one was a bit small, but wow, this guy is huge. And as you can see, you're gonna take you're gonna need some good balancing skills to get this fella now I've heard people say like put something underneath him like that I don't know that doesn't look right to me but um, I, I, I really really dig Mojo now obviously it doesn't have the same paint apps as the SDCC one that is well documented by now but honestly he's a big giant fat alien on a spider crab so he still looks pretty cool to me. I have the, I'm lucky enough here in that my, my stage here kind of has, it's kind of made of, it, he can put his tentacles in it so the balance is not too bad. But uh, he's really big. 
He's a really great looking figure. He looks absolutely class. I'm very, very happy with him. Articulation on the arms is excellent. He's got double jointed elbows, bicep swivels, arm swivels. He can do T-pose. I think the, the hardest thing for me to get on was actually his head. So there's no swivel on his head because it's a quite tight fit. There are little pipes here that go into his arms as well. These keep coming out. Again, small de details, but it's the small details that matter, guys. As you can see, the detail on this guy is absolutely astonishing. He's got two, three lights on here and all. And you can see all the wiring and things. Uh, yeah. Now this I worry about as well. There's little spikes that go into his stomach. Now maybe he shouldn't have. That shouldn't be. I don't know. But you can see like all the techno organic stuff going around him into his back and into the back of the chariot there and his stinger thing is huge as well that actually does articulate on the head of it that's really really cool overall am i happy i got him yes i am because uh, I as, as i said before as i said already i did have the toy biz one and it was very cool but i felt it was very small again here's the other head it's a it's a job replacing the heads i will tell you he does come with two other hands as well, a pointing hand and a grabbing hand. No other accessories, unfortunately. Uh, if I was to put him up next to another figure, here is Mr. Fantastic. Of course, not traditionally a Mojo antagonist, but still, it's just for comparison. Articulation, as I said, all the, all the, all the, um, all the legs are individually articulated as well on joints in the middle and a joint here so you can literally put him flat if you want to as well i presume like so on he does have two claw hands as well overall this guy's class this is going to make a great display piece i have to say but you're going to need some um some room for him obviously because he's a big guy is he worth the money yes i would say yes definitely worth the money for the size and the heft of the figure yeah he could he could be painted better but i'm pretty much happy enough with what i've got here if you paid the extra no, almost double price for for the other one and the three figure the two and a half figures you would get better paint apps yes but it's a lot of, it's a lot of money uh for a figure that's coming out as well in a couple of months weeks we don't know what hasbro the long shot one of course i'm talking about so yeah guys i am very 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 happy with this mojo uh, let me know what you think in the comments below hit that like button subscribe and uh, yeah yeah do tell me if i'm wrong of course i can't be wrong because i'm not stating facts here i'm just stating an opinion and that's why hopefully you guys come here so thanks for watching guys and i really appreciate your constant support and love and all that and needed it in the last week for definite i definitely needed it and yeah so we'll see you in the next one guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one bye